Welcome back to my YouTube channel, everybody. I've been in the garden again, and do you blame me? I'm getting absolutely spoiled with the weather lately. In this week's video, I made a walled tea garden. So I picked herbs that I could use to make herbal teas, and I created a wall feature using some old pallet wood, and I made some shelves, and potted up some herbs, and I made a lovely walled tea garden. I am loving being in the garden and planting vegetables and watching them grow and I wanted to do something slightly different because I drink a lot of tea. A lot of tea. My favourite is good old fashioned English breakfast but I love a herbal tea and I love the idea of going out to the garden, picking it and making it fresh. So that's what I made in this week's video. I also want to welcome back Miracle Grow who are sponsoring this video. I am going to be using their Performance Organics range in this video. You may have seen our previous video where I made my tiered plant stand. I'm gonna give you a little progress update and see how everything has been growing in the garden. So let's get into the video, whether you have a small garden, big garden, maybe you just don't have a garden at all, you just have a wall, I think you will find this video of value. This is the wall that's in my garden that I'm going to be using for my tea wall. I'm gonna call it a tea wall. <laughs> so I'm also gonna use an old palette that I got my hands on and Pepsi is helping me for this video. I used my jigsaw to cut my palette into four pieces and I removed the backing panels and this became my shelf. I just used, I cut them roughly initially and then I used my jigsaw to neaten it up. If you don't have a jigsaw, you can use a handsaw, but just be extra careful. Once I was happy with the shape of them and I had no rough edges, I went in with some sandpaper and I lightly sanded it because you know pallet wood, it's very splintery and rough and I wanted it to be smooth. So I just sanded off any of the rough edges on top and underneath. If you are getting pallet wood, I'd recommend maybe getting two because you'll notice with pallet wood that one or two pieces of the wood might not be strong enough. So I'd recommend getting two just to make sure you have got enough wood for your project. I wanted my shelves to pop and stand out against that white wall. I didn't want them to get lost. So I used some wood stain that I had just knocking about in my kit. I think the color is espresso and it's a general finish um, stain. I used a rag to apply this. It does say to use a sponge, but I didn't have one. So I just used a rag and I simply wiped it into the wood. Once my wood stain was dry, I applied a clear coat of varnish. I have some clear yacht varnish and this just helps protect the wood on my shelves. I also had a weather change halfway through filming this video and hanging shelves during a bit of a storm probably wasn't my best idea. To prep my wall, I had to trim back some ivy. I love ivy on the wall because it protects my wall from people trying to climb over. Um, but I did need to trim it on my side. So after trimming, it was straight in with adding my shelves. I have an impact screwdriver. So I set it to the hammer function and I simply drilled in a hole using a masonry drill bit. I popped in a plug. I changed a bit on my screwdriver and I screwed in this screw to hang the bracket. You can use three brackets on this to hold the weight of your pots. Two might be enough depending on the weight of your pots, but I do recommend a third bracket in the middle to make sure that your shelf can hold the weight. Please get help when hanging shelves if you're not experienced with using power tools. Do ask someone to help. I always encourage my girls to pick up tools and use them, but I want you to be confident as well. And that takes time to build up confidence. So if you're not confident drilling into a concrete wall, do ask for help. Thank you. 
I was delighted that I was able to get a plant delivery and I ordered some herbs for my garden and I wanted to use terracotta clay pots because I just loved the look of them against the wall and they're actually quite budget friendly and a nice alternative to plastic. After planting up my pots, it was time to give them a drink and a feed. Since early spring, I have been using the miracle Grow Performance Organics range to feed my plants. This range from miracle Grow will grow your plants twice as big organically. And you will also get visible results within seven days. I'm using the liquid feed in this video, but I'm a fan of the granular feed also, which will stay in your flower beds, releasing nutrients for up to three months. So perfect if you're like me and you forget to feed as often. Here's a little peep at some of my veg progress. These are actual herbs that I had bought for my tea garden, but I thought they would have been much bigger by now. I've also been using the vegetable feed on my herbs and my peas. I am now a pea farmer. <laughs> I'm going to have so much peas, I'm going to have to give them away. And I've also been getting great flowering from my annuals. So the likes of my pansies and violas are starting to get nice and blousey and big. So well, that rain has just started to come down. You know, I didn't need to uh, water them plants because Mother Nature, she has my back. <laughs> I'll pop the names to each of the herbs that I initially bought for my garden on the screen. One of the plants is actually called Little Cutie Blondie and that is why I bought it. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I was like, is that the actual name? It's like a hooker little cutie blondie. So I'll copy and paste the names, the exact names from my plant order on the screen here so you know which ones I got. <laughs> to making herbal teas. I have just been pulling fresh leaves from the garden so mint and lemon balm is all I've been making however I have been reading up on the drying process and I am going to attempt to dry some lavender and some herbs but I just need to read up on it a bit more before I do that. So I'm simply just popping some mint leaves into a teapot. I added some warm water, not boiling. I let it infuse and then I poured it and I had a lovely mint flavored tea. So this is the book that I got. I just got it off Amazon. I just searched like homegrown tea and I like the look of this one. It's by Cassie Liversidge. I'll pop a link to it anyway. But this, like I picked flowers from this book that I liked the look of and that could kind of grow in Ireland 
and that. Well, most of them can actually. I'm a beginner when it comes to actually making the teas. Um, mint tea and some lemon balm leaves is as adventurous as I've gotten so far. I have been watching some videos on YouTube on how to dry the lavender and the different herbs to make teas. So far at the moment I've just been picking the fresh stuff, popping it in my teapot and having it fresh. But I will, I let you know how I get on with drying it and I also want to do some like DIY tea bags as well and I just think, I know it's <laughs> way, way too early to be thinking about Christmas, way too early but whenever I make things I'm like these would make lovely gifts so if I can harvest some tea and I can dry it and make it nice and bag it up or box it up, I think they'd make lovely gifts for Christmas. So I definitely want to read up more on the tea drying process. I would appreciate any tips that you have on picking the tea, drying the tea, or if there's any YouTube channels um, or creators that have done it and you think I'll enjoy them. I love your recommendations, they're always like on point. So pop any recommendations in the comments below. So that is me for this week. If anything, my wall is just nice to look at as well as being functional. It looks pretty as well. I'm obsessed with French chateaus and their greenhouses and the like red brick, white window, terracotta pots, but they are very expensive and I'm a, a long way from a French chateau, but um, I think, it, I don't know if it'll see in the background, the camera might zoom in, but it does have that little French Mediterranean feel. Um, <laughs> so it gives me my greenhouse fix without having one. And a massive thank you again for the guys at Miracle Grow for sponsoring this video. I never used to feed my plants and I would just trust nature and the difference between feeding and just water is massive. Um, like this year compared to last year, my other years of being a beginner gardener, I can definitely see a difference and I will definitely be continuing to feed my plants. You know the drill, cheeky thumbs up and I will see you in next week's video. Bye.